Ben Special Envoy on youth. You have a special message, I understand, for, for Commonwealth leaders. Uh, particularly crucial, of course, because we, as we heard earlier from some of our other youth activists, um, it's more than 25% of the world's population is under the age of 24, which is a fact I didn't know until today. So very important that we have you speaking today. Thank you. Thank you very much, Hannah. And good afternoon, presidents, prime ministers, uh, your royal highnesses, excellencies, ladies and gentlemen. For too many people, malaria feels like an inevitability, but it doesn't have to be like that. Because of political will and continuous sustainable investments, as the Royal Highness said, my home country, Sri Lanka, had been declared malaria-free. To me, this proves that even countries with development and peace and security challenges can achieve malaria-free status with the right interventions. My future children will only learn about malaria from the history books, and my hope is that it will be the same for every child everywhere in the world. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here because we believe that collective international cooperation can stop the suffering of disease. It's been 38 years since WHO declared that we eradicated smallpox from the world. Only 17 cases of polio were detected last year, the lowest number in history. Yet, malaria kills a child every two minutes. 3,000 children every day. You already know these grim statistics. That's why you are here. You are here because you care and you understand that it's absolutely unjust that a treatable, preventable illness still takes so many lives. Malaria is not simply a health issue. It's a childhood issue. It's an education issue. It's a gender issue. It's an environmental issue, and then it's an economic issue. It's an issue that is adversely affecting younger generations. But the good news is that 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development provides the roadmap to a sustainable planet for all, leaving no one behind. There we have a specific mention of the disease, SDG 3, Target 3, address ending epidemics including malaria by 2030. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, today marks a new beginning in the fight against malaria, and if it isn't obvious, let me tell you why young people should be included as equal partners. One, malaria poses a severe challenge to harnessing the dividends of this global demography, the largest generation of young people the world has ever seen. Two of the countries with the largest number of young people, India and Nigeria, are also two countries with highest malaria rates. The consequences of malaria not only hinder young people's health and education, but also affects their personal potential and their capacity to contribute to the development of their countries. Two, this generation of young people is also digitally savvy and more interconnected than any other generation before. And we know that technology is a critical step on the path to beating malaria. Young people are already driving change by increasing effectiveness of existing tools and coming up with new solutions. We will bring our passion, innovation, entrepreneurship, and our creativity to this fight. But we need partners to scale up proven interventions and sustain investments, most importantly, access to finance. Three, prevention demands education and outreach in local communities where young people are at the forefront. Let's support this kind of youth-led action. Let's listen to what young community workers and health professionals have to say and bring their voices to the decision-making tables. It is time for urgent political action. The Commonwealth Youth Forum highlighted the incredible role young people are playing in addressing health and development issues, including malaria. Today, we have here with us in this room young leaders from Uganda, Malawi, Mozambique, and Nigeria who are undertaking incredible work in their communities. Some of them have spoken here today earlier about the work they've done as doctors treating malaria patients, as researchers collecting and analyzing data on the ground, as community health workers educating citizens, spraying houses with residual insecticides to protect their families, to protect their friends. So the government leaders here in the room, 
the philanthropists, academics, and private sector partners, we as young people are waiting for your support. If youth are not engaged, you are missing on a chance to accelerate development. I am more than confident that together we can fight malaria so that no one dies from a mosquito bite in the future. Health is a human right, not a privilege. No one should get sick and die from a disease that are preventable and treatable. As the UN Secretary General on War on Youth, I stand in solidarity with those affected by the consequences of disease, and I fully support the youth call to action to the Commonwealth leaders to take urgent action to beat malaria and halve it across the Commonwealth over the next five years. In the words of the young people, malaria has become a fact of life, but it's a fact that doesn't have to be. We want to be the generation that beats malaria for good. Thank you very much. Dayaka, thank you very much. Thank you very much indeed. Now, today, we've been hearing a lot about the amazing technological advance.